Before Isaac Newton's work in the 17th century, little was understood about the nature of gravity. All we really knew was that gravity pulls things to the ground when we drop them. It wasn't understood at that time that the moon orbits the Earth due to the same pull of gravity as an apple experiences on the Earth's surface. The top image here shows the Earth and the moon to accurate scale. Most people think the moon is much closer than what we've shown here, but that's a misconception. The bottom image here shows an apple on the Earth, but we can lift the apple off of the Earth. Newton said to himself, based on its motion, I can figure out that the moon accelerates by 1 3,600th the rate of an apple on Earth. I also know that the moon is 60 times farther away from the center of the Earth than an apple. Is it possible that these numbers are related? With this line of reasoning, he discovered the inverse square law for gravity. Notice that as we move the moon closer to the Earth, the force of gravity acting on it gets stronger. If we make the distance half as much, the force goes up by four. If we make the distance half as much again, the force goes up by four again to 16 times its initial value. This is what is meant by the inverse square law. When moving the apple, we see the same effect. Doubling its distance decreases the force acting on it by a factor of four. The distance in this case is from the center of the apple to the center of the earth. Why the center? Why not the surface? What Isaac Newton realized was that it isn't the earth or the moon or the apple that generates a gravitational pull, but everything. If every bit of the earth were pulling on the apple, it would seem like all of those combined forces were coming from the center of the earth. Following this line of reasoning, Newton realized that the law of gravity was universal. We say that Newton, among other great feats, unified terrestrial mechanics, the motion of things on the earth, with celestial mechanics, the motion of things in the sky.